Alright, so according to what I've been told, episode 12 and episode 15 are like the two lowest ranking episodes of this series. If those are the low points in this, then I am elated to move forward with this series because, hot damn, if that's the lows that this series reaches, let, let's fucking do this. A close encounter with aliens? Oh boy. We're gonna have centipedes in this episode, apparently. Space, 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 space. Space, 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 space. With all the planets in outer space, there must be other forms of life different to that on Earth. If you want to know about space, you gotta know about the planets. Sun. We don't know what they look like, because no one from here has ever seen them. <laughs> That's just a Dragon Quest slime. However, we do know that they don't look like this. Are you sure <laughs> about that? Sniff. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is Sniff gonna get abducted? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Poor Sniff! Hide in the forest! Oh, it looks as though the rumor was right. Oh, what rumor was that? That we were about to be invaded by aliens from outer space. Huh? I'm sure he's exaggerating. I wonder what they look like. Why don't you come and help me in the garden? You never know, we might see one. I just, I have no clue what to say at this point. They're getting, Moon oh, Valley getting me. invaded by aliens. This should be... This should be interesting. Mama, what's that? Well, I would say it's not a vegetable, that's for sure. <laughs> it looks like a flying saucer. Brilliant observation. And out come the I centipedes. Wonder if there are any aliens in it. They might be hurt, Mama. This looks odd. I wonder what it is. It's a bit like a radio, isn't it? Oh yeah, an alien radio. Do you think there's anyone in there, Moomin? Anybody there? I don't think flying saucers should make that sort of noise. Do you, Moomin? I don't think so, but I don't know very much about them. It does seem a bit odd, <laughs> as if they've set it to be blown up so that no one would be able to steal it because they want to keep the design a secret. Do you think it will? <laughs> oh. I think it's gonna blow up, Mama. Well, Let's just stay mama. standing Mama's here. In case it does explode. <laughs> It's empty, but I wish it hadn't landed in the asparagus patch. I'll take the radio with me. It won't be too long now, Mama. No, it won't. <laughs> that is a Dragon Ball Z noise. Whoa. It's vanished. Bless my soul. Hmm. Hmm. I know of someone who builds Isn't contraptions radio, like this. Papa? His name is Seuss. I don't know. It, it looks a bit like one. Uh, let's try pressing one of these buttons. Huh? <laughs> or at least he goes by it. First, I think. <laughs> when I was a lad, I knew him as Mr. Geisel. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Now, I wonder what happens if I press this one. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't see you either, dear. What? Oh, no. Oh, I see. <laughs> so if you press the red button, you become invisible. What a fascinating machine. Papa, I think I'd rather see you, dear. Aww. There, that's it. Nice. Oh, that's a very dangerous machine. I don't want to disappear ever again. It's not a nice experience. No, dear. I didn't like you vanishing like that. Snort Maiden, what on earth's the matter? We found a strange creature. Strange creature? I think it's an alien. Does it look like a jellyfish? 
No, not at all. Little Mai's keeping an eye on it. Come on. Ah, over here. Look, look. Well, I was going to say, how would you tell it's an alien with all this strange species in Moomin Valley, but this is... This is strange even for Moomin Valley. It certainly is, but not like it says in the book. Have you tried talking to it? Yes, but it wouldn't answer. Well, let me try. Are you from outer space? <laughs> it looks like an alien child to me. More like a lamp. Poor thing. <laughs> he must be hungry. Let's take him home. Yeah, well, we don't want the inspector to see him. It's kind of adorable in a way. And it does indeed look like a lamp, and here comes Stinky. <laughs> Being evil. As usual. I'm sorry we can't understand you, but I'm sure you'll like milk even if you don't speak English. Just try it and see. <laughs> I think he's missing his home. Oh, please arrest Stinky. We'll just keep him out of sight. Oh, Moomin Papa, I heard there was uh, an alien here with <laughs> the pink beam. You look like a great big glowworm. An inspector in shining armor, you mean, little Mai? <laughs> That's just what I thought. Mm -hmm. You'll never need a lamp to be seen, Inspector. I like it. Criminals will be afraid of me. I can't wait to get back to the station and show the constables. Handy for reading in bed, too. Well, duty calls. Bye. You, you take what you can. <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't know that the machine was still working. Oh, you can speak English. Of course I can. It's just that I need my language converter to help me to translate, and if you hadn't taken it from my ship and hidden it, I would have been able to talk sooner. That's a good way to learn, isn't it? Where are you going? To see that nice shiny man. <laughs> <laughs> he came here looking for you. To see this nice shiny man. When the started him glowing. Must be very nice for them. I want to go with you, please. I'm sorry, I'm too busy, but it was nice talking to you. You see, the aliens have invaded Moomin Valley and I must find them. Oh, I just remembered. I was tipped off that there was one of them in Moomin House. He's not the oh. brightest. Well, now he is. <laughs> information from a reliable source. Well, sort of reliable. I was about to say, you're calling Stinky you reliable? A fugitive. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> In other words, I believe you've been hiding an alien here. Oh, Inspector, I don't think hiding is the right word. That suggests we're trying to keep something from you. Hmm, that Stinky has tricked me again. Time to arrest him. Lucky he didn't find you. I want the nice Inspector. Look, how many times must I tell you? He'll lock you up in a nasty cell. I like him. I want to see him. No, don't! <laughs> oh boy, here we go again. Perhaps if we press the yellow button, he'll stop shining. Good idea, Papa. Be quick, Mama. Aww. You don't want him now that he stopped shining, do you, little fella? No. Well, my mama, come and look. We've saved the alien. Oh, mama. God. Mama? Mama, where are you? I'm here. Wait, what? Where are you, Mama? Uh, Mama! Right here. Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, oh, no, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Probably that machine again. Oh, <laughs> so, so it's so small. as well as making you invisible. Oh, you? my well, goodness! Well. Oh, Handheld oh, moment, Mama! I need an apron. Papa, 
Uh, can you get a handkerchief from my handbag? <laughs> you really are quite small. But you look very cute, of course, Mama. Would you like to stay like that for a while? No, I would not. <laughs> Push another button quickly before anyone sees me. Hey, you! Jackie, of course. <laughs> I'd say strangle him, but he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> Come on, body block him. You, 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 stop him four mother, people! Stop him. He stole the machine! You get it, Sniff! Uh, Quick boy! Please let me pass, Sniff! I'll give you a gold sovereign! A gold sovereign? I mean three! No, no, five! Five? Don't trust give me Stinky! Me stinky! <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Where is it, Moomin? What's happened to the machine? It's at the bottom of the river, Papa. Oh, poor Mama, poor Mama. What's wrong with her? Well, she needs the machine to get back to normal. Normal? Well, at least this is a chance to do some really fine embroidery. Don't worry, Mama. I oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at this outfit. <laughs> it's all right, Moomin. I'll manage. I like their designs. I don't know what they're reminding me of, though. What are they reminding me of? It's like it's it's driving me crazy. Parents wish to thank you for looking after me. But I, if it's whatever else, they're telling you off, aren't they? Yes, because I took a flying saucer. Look, uh, would you ask your parents to make Mama her normal size again? Yes, of course. Fiddle, grassly, grassy, grow. <laughs> wow! Oh, well, that's more like it. <laughs> oh, Strong. Oh, 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 oh dear. Uh, oh. oh, no, stop. It's too much. Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry, but could you try again, please? I know the more of Mama there is, the better. Very large, very large. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Moon Papa knows where it's at. <laughs> that is a great line. That is... That is a great, great line, my god. They knew what they were doing. So Moomin Valley hadn't really been invaded at all. And the Moomins and their friends had found out what aliens really looked like. I think that's been the most fun and funny episode. Well, has it been the funniest? I don't know if it has. Honestly, probably episode 14 was the funniest of these uh, little mini-arc episodes. Well, not mini-arc, but just self-contained... self-contained story episodes. I liked it. I liked the alien's design. I like... I like what the machine... I like the fun, interesting stuff that the machine could do. I like... I like small Moomin Mama. <laughs> I also like extra big Moomin Mama. That was great. That's funny stuff. And <laughs> Moom and Papa, seriously. <laughs> I know, the more of a mama there is, the better. <laughs> a gentleman of refined taste. But uh, yet again, we see Stinky doing his best to just be 
just be an asshole and throw and throw monkey wrenches into every into everything, but I don't know if I've explained this in a video yet, but like, yeah, Stinky's terrible, but he's one of those characters that you love to hate. I don't I would it's it's a character that I hate, but I'd honestly miss if he wasn't in the show, you know? He's not he's not a character that I hate so much that I that that the show would be better without him. No, the show's better because he's there to be an asshole, you know? As much as I hate him, I'm glad he's part of the show because he's just wanton chaos. Just just doing what he can to throw a monkey wrench into everything and getting his comeuppance in the end, and that's fun to watch. I'm honestly finding myself at a conundrum of what to touch on between these episodes because, yeah, these uh these these self-contained little story episodes are fun, but they don't really leave me, you know, ruminating on like the possibilities, or, like story stuff. It's it's just like here's here's fun episode. There you go, and uh, of course I like that, but I want to be able to talk on some stuff. But hey, I know that Moomin's gonna give gonna give me gonna gonna, gonna gh, give me stuff to talk about in the future because this this series is so interesting and well yeah it's it's full of stuff that you know gonna give me a lot to work for, work from. All right, we're going into uh, episode 17, a change of air. Finally, a, a, an episode that I have no clue what's going to happen for, d via the title name. Oh, boy. Would you like a cup of coffee, dear? Yes, I think I need one, Mama. Oh, dear. Is it your memoirs? I'm stuck. Ah, can I help? Well, how can I create in this? In what? In this sleepy atmosphere. I've also come to a boring part. When was that? The time I wrote poems. Were they any good? <laughs> no. Well, miss that bit out then. I can't. I must put it down for posterity. It is my duty. But how can I get inspiration here in this place where nothing ever happens? Nothing ever happens at all. Oh, I think you got visited by adventure. aliens earlier. Yes, Mama, but I need it to be big, exciting, and frightening. You got encroached by an ice monster! Your father says that because nothing ever happens here, he can't write. So I'm looking for You got visited by a wizard flying on a panther! be big, exciting, and frightening. I think I could manage that. What the? That looks like the footprint of a huge monster. Just a couple more? Yeah. Yeah. Phew, that was harder than I thought. Well, it looks like for once Stinky's oh, doing something that isn't completely sleepy. malicious. Wake up, everybody! Mom and Papa! Quickly, get up! Mom and Mama! A monster! You've been visited by a monster! Wake up before you're eating alive! <laughs> Come on, hurry! Hurry! It could be a monster from the depths of the ocean. Something's not right here. Don't you think it's a bit odd that it came directly to Moomin it House? Did. Well, look at the footsteps. They go in a straight line. Someone must have told it to go to Moomin House. <laughs> and they're only going one way. Look, there aren't any footsteps going back to the sea. Oh no, then the monster must still be here then. Or it flew, or it flew away. Not necessarily. Retracing one's own footsteps is the sign of an advanced intelligence. Stepping back exactly the way you came. The tough question is, why would the monster do that? One is led to believe that it wants us to think it's still here, when in fact it has gone back to uh, uh, wherever it came from. Fiddle faddle, as my dear mother would say. <laughs> but why would it want us to? Oh my, is actually pretty smart. It's a spy. Oh, a spy? It shouldn't. It'd hardly be a good spy if we knew. They have to sneak in and out. It's gone back to give its report. How do you know that, Papa? Well, obviously, that's why it still wants us to believe it's Mama, here. Mama! Mama! Yes? What is it, Moomin? Something terrible is gonna happen. A monster is gonna attack us tonight. 
And Papa's excited about it. <laughs> oh, good. That's nice, boy. That's nice. Hurry, everyone. <laughs> if we catch the monster, we can sell it to a zoo. I'll handle the sale, of course. <laughs> I'd rather tame it and keep it as a pet. We could ride on it to go picnicking. <laughs> <laughs> now and then my brain just goes, yes, sell Stinky to a zoo. What if it doesn't come until tomorrow night or the night after that? Uh, it might be a long way, so we'll take it in turns. Also, my mind goes back to that that one, they're not coming joke from my first video, but I don't want to recycle, I, will, I don't want to recycle jokes. Why does Stinky, why is Stinky's ass exposed? Uh, I've managed to play a really good trick on the stupid moments, and they've given me a slap-up meal as well. <laughs> The monster's here! Please, it's me! It's me, Stinky! Stinky? Well, it sounds like Stinky. Be careful, everybody. It's a baby monster. <laughs> Another monster! Please help me! I made the footprints! You did? He's obviously lying. He's too small. Watch him or he'll go get his daddy. No, please! I beg you! Ah, uh, Moomin Papa. <laughs> oh, hello, Snufkin. Why don't you let Stinky go? It really is him, you know. It is? <laughs> Yes, it was Stinky, and he really did make those footprints. Uh, how do you know that, Snufkin? I was fishing off the shore last night when I saw him digging the holes. The little rascal was at it for hours and hours. <laughs> oh, did she make soup for him? She's so nice. Aw, she's so nice! Even to Stinky! Why did you come inside, Stinky? <laughs> this is great! It was very good of you to make the footprints. Papa hasn't had so much fun in ages. I'm glad it was hard work and I lost all my hair, too. Well, mischief isn't always easy, you know. You can say that again. This is delicious! Aww! That is... wow! That is... Just, I can't believe I'm smiling because of Stinky! Papa, are you alright? Oh, yes, thank you, Moomin. I'm going to run away on an adventure trip. That's nice for you. It's a trip without a destination, <laughs> full of mystery, hazards, and hardships, and you're coming too, Mama. Oh, splendid! I'll be an adventurer again, just as I was in my lost youth. And with you by my side, we'll have adventure, romance, all we desire, the sun, the stars. But what about Moomin? He'll be frantic. He won't, and it's time he learned to stand on his own feet, fend for himself, become a man. We can't protect him forever, you know. He's big enough to be left by himself. I, I feel like that is an important, uh, an important point in, like... A growing person's life. Oh, geez, something in my throat. Like the point where, like, Just know, you're Papa. you're responsible enough Can to be left to your own devices, you know? Oh! Never find a cinnamon on them. Where shall I leave it? Look at all. She's Mama, so sweet. I ask you when the unknown is calling. We must leave before dawn. All right. Aww. Mama and Papa on an adventure. Oh, my, my parents are missing. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. That's a bit of a problem. I'm getting hungry. I need my breakfast. I have to start the day with a good meal. I'm starving. Me too! So Snufkin, talk, talk some worry, sense to these Moomin. people. I'm sure that Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa will be back home very soon. But where could they have gone to, Snufkin? No idea. Have they left a note? Have you had your breakfast yet, Moomin? No, nothing. It's not the same without Mama. Oh, Moomin, you can have this fish, and I'll come up to Moomin House and cook it especially for you if you like. Thanks, Snufkin. But there are two cooks there already. Little Mai and Sniff are both trying oh, to cook. Oh no! A bit of this and a bit of that. This is great. There's lots of delicious things I want to try out. Hmm. Oh no! 
No idea, Mama. We must have wandered into some caves. Who knows how many different tunnels we took. It could be weeks before we find our way. Little mind, it's burning! D don't, 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 don't go from, don't go from worrisome cliffhanger to jaunty music. I'll lose all my organs if I keep, if I keep eating their food. Oh, the poor boy. Just wants his parents. Love those wiggly ears. Super cute. Oh, sad boy. That's a big one. Wow, that is a big one. Holy crap. So far from home. Mama, at last! <laughs> Look, I caught a big fish! Come and help me quickly! <laughs> Don't let it get away! <laughs> Mother son fish grabbing. I've never seen such a big fish moving. Just wait till Papa sees it! <laughs> oh, yes. Moment, Papa. Where is he then? Well, looking for adventure. Adventure? Where? I don't really know. When's he coming home? I'm afraid I don't know that either. You know Papa. Wow! I bet he's having a great adventure right now, eh, Mama? Oh. <laughs> great adventure indeed. Mama? Cave dwellers must have her. <laughs> Mama, what? Oh no! No, he's worried. Mama! Goodness, the sea. Deary me, I don't. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> He's lost it. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, look, look, it's Papa. Papa's back, everyone. Uh -huh. Welcome Hiya, home. Papa. We didn't destroy the kitchen. Ah, oh. well, uh, I'm back. I'm so pleased to see you again. Thank you, Mama. Papa, how was your adventure? Uh, unexpected, yes, that's what I'd say. Unexpected. Any food? Oh, yes, you can try mine first, Moomin Papa. Oh, mine's the best. Try mine, Papa. Oh, that's good. I'm starving. Tell us about your adventure. I'll uh, eat Were first. you in mortal danger? Did you eat any rats? Yeah, I uh, suppose it's adventure. Is... I don't think Papa wants to talk about his adventure yet. Maybe later. And that was the end of Mama and Papa's adventure. They didn't get far, but then you don't have to sometimes for things to happen. Or at least for you to think they're happening. I mean, that episode honestly felt longer th than, it w than it was. How long was this episode? Because it it's, it's gotta be like, yeah, t just 22 minutes like the rest of them. But that episode felt so much longer because it felt like two episodes in one. Like the, the first part with Stinky was, was Stinky making the quote-unquote monster tracks, and then Moo and Papa and Moo and Mama going on an adventure. Poor sad Moo and just wants his parents. Oh, my heart. And, uh, yeah, I, for, like, for once, it's just, like, Stinky did something 
good. Ending up hoisted by his own petard, as the, as they would. Ending up in the trap that they laid out for, for the quote-unquote monster. Ending up catching Stinky. And... Moomin Mama, of course, being just so sweet and such a mom to everyone, including Stinky. That is... Wow, just... I never thought that I'd be, that I'd be like, that, that I'd be smiling this much because of Stinky. That's incredible. That's, that's amazing. And yeah, it was a prank, but it was, at the end of the day, it was a harmless prank. And he became the butt of the joke at the end. So, for once, I liked Stinky in this episode. More than just, more than just, hey, this is the character that I poke fun at because he's, because he's an asshole. It was just him being a prankster that didn't have the intention to harm anyone, you know? So this next episode is apparently the Wooden Crate. So, yet again, another episode I have no clue what's going to happen. But with last, but with uh, how last episode went, it could, be, it could be something great for all I know. I'm saying that about this, this series that is... Apparently, 99% great episodes, except for except for like these two episodes, 12 and 15, which are meh at worst and okay at best. So, yeah, we'll see what happens with the wooden crate. Oof. Just looking at this, I feel this. Summer, but still, every day seemed hotter than the last. <laughs> Valley had had no <laughs> rain for wipe their faces in unison. Finally, the river had dried up. Oh no. Says this weather is a catastrophe, Snuffkin. Oh, not really. Well, but it is. In all my travels, I found that droughts like this are always followed by a real heavy downpour. Snuffkin is an is like he's an odd optimist. He's got this strange, calm optimism about pretty much everything. Well, I haven't heard this one yet. Oh. So hot, I can't think. This is a new song. I can, I can always think of something. You're polluting the drinking water. <laughs> Here you are. Why, why do you need bathing suits or or, swi or swimming suits? What's this? You're you you're, you're almost always nude. Are, are no! You, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, the poor boy! <laughs> he bounces. <laughs> it's a really nice water effect. Aww. The two important things, diamonds or something or something to eat. What is this? Seeds, maybe. What sort of seeds? Hmm. Well, at first glance, I'd say they might be tropical plants. Oh, really, Mr. Hemmel? What plants are tropical? Well, species like banana or mango. Banana? And mango! Well, I haven't done a lot of research on tropical plants, so I can't be sure, but they do look like it. I know, mm. Mama. Why don't we plant them? Seems that Mama is enjoying herself, Mr. Hamulin. I don't think it'll be much use. Well, perhaps not, but it's still worth the fun in trying. <laughs> Very true. Imagine Moomin Valley, a tropical jungle. Uh, I just want to plant a banana tree in a really special place. It's Moon's favorite fruit. Aww. I think she'll be disappointed. Bananas won't grow here. Mm, this weather doesn't belong here either. If it gets any hotter, I'll melt. I can't wait for dusk so it'll cool down a bit. 
Mm. <laughs> Melted Moomin Papa just looks like a puddle of ice cream with a face and the hat. <laughs> You're going to get very wet if it starts raining in the night. You're joking, surely, Mama. Not at all. All the toothpicks fell on the floor, and that's a sure sign of rain. Snark Maiden won't mind if she gets that's, a, that's an interesting Mama, suspicion. Because then she'll know that the special tree will start growing, and that's very important to her. That's true. Good night, everyone. I hope you sleep well. It's so peaceful. So I thought that Moomin Valley is such a peaceful place that you could literally just sleep under the stars. No! <laughs> I'm getting a vibe that it's going to get that it's going to get Totoro very quickly. Hey, it's raining, Moomin! Wake up, Moomin! Oh, is it morning? <laughs> the sun's really bright. No, it's raining! Raining? The, Look at that! The thought of being Good able luck. to sleep I'm I'm going inside. with it raining so on Mama you. Was right about the rain. Hey, doesn't she look sweet? Snark Maiden! <laughs> Is it raining? That's very clever. Your mother knows everything, doesn't she? She does. Now let's get into the house. <laughs> Not yet. I want to feel the rain on my face. It's been so long. Your mother knows everything, doesn't she? Yes. Now let's go. Ah! Ha! You want to feel it much longer? Well, that should cool things down a bit. Nothing like a good storm to cool down the summer. Up. I called it. Totoro, Totoro. That's impossible. Gosh. It... Yep. <laughs> I wish my lettuce seeds would do that, Moomin Papa. Well, there's magic here somewhere, Mama. Let's go and explore. That's rain drumming on the canvas. It must be. What on earth saw this? Well, we found a crate of tropical seeds and planted them last night and this morning. Well, you can see it's like magic. It's fantastic. It probably is magic. We can go on a safari. Here it is. Very dashing, dear. I thought so too. <laughs> oh, no. It suits him. Like a real Panama Jack. What on earth are you doing? I want to get into the cellar. What for? To get my gun. Your gun? Only fools venture into the jungle without a proper gun. I don't think you need a gun, Papa. And why not? Because there aren't any wild animals. Well, one of the seeds might have been an egg or something. Good. Look at these for instance. <laughs> animal. More than not a plant, I think. I'd stay away from them. They could be very dangerous. But they've got eyes. Only moving Papa could... 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 could have such hey, uh, a nonchalant uh, reaction uh, uh, help. No, uh, to help. these things. Oh, oh, they're trying to eat me. They, they want to feed me to their young. Oh, 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 oh. Help me. Oh, help. They're tearing my tail off. Oh, 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 no, oh dear, oh, oh, Time to get oh, the weed whacker. Oh, oh, help, oh, AKA oh, Little Mai. Oh, 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 well done, my Little Mai, you just saved my life. Well, I saved your tail anyway. Oh, 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 oh,
Get something to jam this door shut. Come on, hurry! Gonna also want to oh, barricade the the cellar door in the kitchen because I remember there is one. Make sure Mama's safe. Oh my goodness! What's the matter? You can get straight from the cellar into the kitchen. What? Oh no, Mama! Oh, I, oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Phew, we got here just in time. Huh. Ah, a transcendentia megaloids. And yes, a dyspepsia florium. <laughs> Mr. Hemulin's in heaven. I can collect a whole tropical herborium right here in Moomin Valley. A trowel, that's what I need. I'll get one from the Moomins. <laughs> Why does he have a leotard? <laughs> Yes. No, you look great. Ah. Oh. Uh, uh, help! I've got man-eating plants after what? me. What? They must have gone out. <laughs> what in the world? They were in the cellar. Did you open the door, Mr. Hemulin? Well, yes. I wanted to borrow a trowel. Mr. Hemulin, you know all about plants. Do you have any idea how we can get rid of them? They're man-eaters, you know. Get rid of them? Uh, well, let's see. We are in a bit of a fix. I have heard that they react to music. Music? Snoofkin, you could play a harmonica. Hmm. Hmm. At least it worked. Look, they've started dancing. Keep it up, Snufkin. Now while you figure out now now figure out what to do with this Pikmin situation while Snufkin's playing. Well, they're rather sweet when they don't try to eat you. <laughs> and that is how a tropical jungle grew and surrounded Moomin House in one night. Is it going to stay? And for how long? And what will the man-eating plants do if Snufkin stops playing? Don't end it on that! <laughs> God damn it! This fucking show! <laughs> well... At least I know I'm going into another episode as well, once I'm done with, with discussing this one. Oh boy. You know, I never know what to expect with this show. I said that before. I'll say it again through this entire series. I never know what to expect. This this batch has just been a just been a blessing. I'm loving this so much. Holy crap, this series is so good. Just and this episode it seemed like it, it blinked by, honestly, because, I don't know, it just felt like it went by so quickly. It was just, it was just like, oh, drought. They go, they go swimming, they get the box, they bring back, they bring it back, there's full of seeds, they plant it, storm comes, jungle, man-eating plants. So, I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode. I don't want to faff about because I'm excited to continue the I'm excited to continue this. So, I'm I'm going to go ahead into the next episode. This next episode aptly named is Buried in a Jungle. So, I guess we got a sub art going on here. Well, as as I expect because last episode of course had to leave on a cliffhanger of of Snufkin and and the Moomins surrounded by man-eating plants. Wonderful. What else can I say except let's just see where this goes? I'm, I'm super invested. I, I'm, and I'm glad that we've got we've actually seem to have another another point of just continuous continuity. So I'm really excited to get into this. So I'm just gonna hop in. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Snufkin, don't stop playing your harmonica, whatever you do. They'll only get angry and attack us all over again. If I don't stop soon, I might never want to play again. <laughs> I mean, understandable. Well, perhaps the music has made them more friendly. Well, be careful, Mr. Hemelin. 
Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Mr. Hemulin, look out! What? Oh, 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 oh. Someone save him! Jeez. Well, that has them contained for now, but how, how will you deal with that situation? This is just containment. Oh! Thank goodness for the thick canopy. Oh, hold your ass. Pretty stupid moment playing Tarzan without wild well, animals. Animals don't come from seeds. No, but you need them to have a real jungle. I can get you some if you want. Really? I'll do anything for my friends. That's very kind of you. Not too wild though. No lions or tigers or anything. Maybe a baby chimpanzee. I know exactly what you need. <laughs> oh no, what's Stinky gonna do? Jeez. I don't like the thought of all those man-eaters still in the cellar. So your father and I are going to sleep in the bathhouse. We'll sleep outdoors too. <laughs> Is he about to to let loose a zoo? He's about to let loose the zoo. Didn't even know. Didn't even know Moon Valley had a zoo, but okay. I tell you, it's a wonderful place. You love it. A real tropical jungle. Are you sure it's quite nice here? Of course I am. There you are. Oh. Oh no. Big snack. Jeez, Stinky's <laughs> lockpicking 100. How lovely it is to run free. Darling, let's be the first to get to Moomin Valley. <laughs> now, what have we here? Uh, a, a monkey, perhaps? Yep. Go away, I'm not a zoologist. <laughs> I love the reactions. It's the best thing about this show. The way the the way the characters react. I just don't trust him. Very odd, just like home, isn't it? Even if it isn't very big. Perhaps we could live here. Let's go hunting first. I smell moments. <laughs> Careful, darling, you're very out of practice. What? 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 Oh, hold on, hold I on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> See anything? Not a thing. First off, they're adorable. Second off, Moomin. that implies they've eaten Moomin. they've eaten Moomins before. I've just seen some tigers. Shall we eat him up? You know that Hemulens upset your tummy, dearest. <laughs> I wonder where the Moomins are. <laughs> oh, just more animals, that's all. <laughs> By the man eating plants? No, by tigers! I have seen two tigers and they're looking for us. Tigers after us. That rotten stinky probably told them that we're good to eat or something. Maybe we are. <laughs> right, Moomin, you go and find the biggest stone you can and bring it back with you. Okay. Oh, good lord. Why is that stone there? <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
Oof. My darling! It was Papa! Well, of course, Bowman. My husband is drowning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Papa, we must help. Uh, he was just about to try and eat us, Mama. I'm sure he won't do it again. No! I suppose so. Moomin! There must be a serious drop-off after this after the shore. He's so big! Oh. I never thought I'd see the day. Moomin's rescuing a tiger. <laughs> Here you are, dear. Tie this tightly around him and we'll lift him out. Thank you, Mama. They're so sweet. You still feel hungry, but it was rather good of them to save you. No, my appetite's completely gone. Well, come back here then and we'll go. I'll just jump over. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's just a big kitty. What's the matter? I can't remember how to jump. We've been stuck in that zoo for too long. Well, try and swim across, dearest. Okay. Hmm? Wake up, everyone! The tigers are leaving! I'm glad you didn't drown! <laughs> I'm glad you didn't drown! <laughs> we might eat you sometime! You mean enough to eat us after saving him. How can there be crocodiles in the sea? I thought they only lived in fresh water. How are we going to get back to the shore Saltwater now? crocodiles. We'll have to wait for a boat to come past. No, I'm afraid we'll have to think of something else, Mama. We could uh, be waiting for a week or so for that to happen. A whole week? But we'll starve. All they'll find is our bones bleached white in the sun. Don't worry, little Mai. Papa will think of something. You'll see. Good morning. <laughs> or Snufkin will come along. Snufkin, what a relief. I was going to go sea fishing, but I changed my mind. I didn't fancy landing a sea monster. <laughs> oh, goodness. Help! Someone help! <laughs> Snap cut to Mr. Himlin on a spit being slowly turned by one of the tigers. Oh my god. I never made you so cross. I just told you not to eat my plants. Help, please, someone help! Yikes. Yeah. That fella's always been clumsy. We can't really help him. No. I think, I think you can so. unstick the rhino oh, from yeah. your stairs. <laughs> this dude walking along singing his own name. <laughs> ah, look where you're going. It was you who brought all the animals in, wasn't it? Yes, you're right. That's what you wanted. It's a jungle now. I did a good job. Oh, really? Well, they're not wild animals at all. They're quite friendly. Friendly? I thought you all would have been eaten by now. <sighs> oh! 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 oh. <laughs> I love them. Hmm. See what I mean? They make very good pets. Cute, aren't they? Very. Uh, snake! Oh, snake, where are you? What do you want? The rhino and the tigers have become pets of the Moomin family. You're not gonna let that happen to you. Well, are you? Of course not. I'll bring Snork Maiden and Moomin here tonight. There's no need to eat all of them. Just bite off their tails, all right? Okay. 
Why? What? What? Really amazed, like I was. Stinky. Both of you to sit on. How lovely! A giant water lily. I wonder if the seeds came from that box. A couple episodes. I was saying how you are not too bad. How wonderful! You see, I wish you learned to trust me. I'm a very honest guy. It's so soft and pink and beautiful. How romantic to be on a boat made from a flower. This is unbelievable. Our old box seems to have grown into a tropical swamp. It's a lot nicer. Hey, Stinky! Stinky? Oh, I can't see him anywhere. So snap cut tonight? How far we'll float. It's getting dark, Moomin. Gotcha. We must get away. Where? I don't know. Yes. Look, there's the sea. But the crocodiles. Over there, Stark made a, a boat. Well, it's the only way we'll get away from this monster. Snuff into the rescue again, potentially. Keep going, Snort Maiden. We're almost there. Are you sure about that? Moomin and Snork Maiden kept swimming as fast as they could. They had a head start on the snake, but now he was catching up. Even though Moomins are very good swimmers, unfortunately for them, so are snakes. And of course it's another cliffhanger! God damn it! Stop doing this to me! Good lord. So what you're trying to tell me is right now, right now is that that Stinky's plan is either to get them eaten, or so, or to at or at least get get parts of them bitten off. Right when I was saying that Stinky isn't too bad. Come on. But I, I do like the tigers. They, they are adorable. I I, I <laughs> just to see. Moo and Papa and Moo and Mamas, <laughs> using the using them as chairs. That was hilarious. That that was, that was cute. I, I love, I, I love it. I, I've just been, really, I've just been absorbed and just loving this series and the characters and just, just the. I don't know what to call it. It's a very specific type of humor that's just like. I really don't know what to call it. It's just like just how nonchalant a character can react to. A situation that probably deserves being reacted to, you know, th th this is this is a scary situation. Like like Mr. Hemulin seeing tigers outside the window, looking over <laughs> with his magnifying glass. Oh, just more animals. It's just it's tigers, dude, staring at you through a window. And, a, and from what they said, they've eaten your species before. <laughs> oh, good lord. This show. Can't escape it. Can't escape the jokes. There will always be the jokes to be made. They're too easy sometimes. I could make 50 million jokes about this. But, you know. I... I <laughs> I choose not to, at least not right now. Maybe some other time I'll make a joke. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the next episode. I'm gonna be sad when the tigers are gone because I have a feeling that they're ju that they're just here for like the the jungle episodes, however long this uh, sub arc is going to last, and they might they might leave they might leave after afterwards. And I'm, but I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be sad about that because I already like them. 
I, I, I wish I, I'd want them to stick around a bit more, a bit longer. But you know, some episodes come and go in throughout the throughout the course of a series, and it's just yeah, yeah, it's it, you know, it that, that stuff happens when you're when you're writing a series or you know making a show. Characters come and go, and you know. But uh, this one's this this episode's called Moomin Saves the Tigers, so I, I'm going to guess something's going to happen to them. Again, I, I really don't I really don't have anything I want to say between these uh, between these these connected episodes because I just want to get right back into it. The, the, this this is cliffhangering me hangering me for no re- cliffhanging me cliffhanger in whatever. I'm left on a cliffhanger and I don't like it. So I'm just so I want to get back into it as soon as possible. <laughs> There's a couple of hippos. They're coming towards us. We better get them on board. That's funny. I haven't heard about any hippos reported missing from the zoo lately. They're just a bit They're not native. hippos, though. They're moomins. Well, one of them's a moomin, one of the others a snork. We made it. I didn't know hippos could climb so well. So we're from the zoo. Oh, you've got one of the crocodiles. Yes, nice. and a lot of trouble he gave us as well. Oh boy, I wish he'd come as quietly as you hippos did. Hippos? Now look here. I'm a moomin, not a hippo. Are you saying that I look like a hippo? Well, perhaps they don't look exactly like hippos. <laughs> no, but they're close enough, Captain. I'm sure they've escaped from a zoo somewhere, though. Yes, sirree. We haven't escaped from anywhere. Jump Certainly overboard. We live in Moomin Valley. We're Moomins. It's all right, Snork Maiden. I'll not be taken for a hippo. Come on, let's run for it. Hey, wait. There's a nice cozy cage already for ya. Hurry, Snork Maiden. After them! I think you're better off Stop with the now. snake. Don't let him get away. Uh, where are we going, Moomin? Into the sea. Quickly, man. Lower the lifeboat. They're not going to put us in any zoo. Why did you come back? I thought you were on the boat. Oh, no. Don't worry, I never eat anything when I'm out swimming. Are you sure? I'm sure. Now, where's this ship? Swim, oh, snake, swim. Us. They want to put us in a cage and take us to the zoo. Me too, I expect. They're always trying to get me. They've got one of the crocodiles. Oh, did they? They were my friends. Right. Hang on to me, you two. I'm certainly not going back to any zoo. I wish people would realize that I almost never lie. I'm sorry about them, but I thought I'd better tell you. Well, there aren't any snakes that big in Moomin Valley. There are tigers here, aren't there? Well, there's big snakes, too. You brought the snake here, didn't you? Papa, I'm not saying that I believe him, but I think we'd better look for them just to be on the safe side, don't you? I'll come with you. No, you'd better stay, little Mai, and tell Moomin where we've gone if he comes back. He'll only and watch Stinky. Make sure he doesn't here. steal everything Stinky, we own. You, you show us where to go. Okay. Hey, you. Have you eaten Moomin and Snork Maiden? It's all right, Mama. We're here. <laughs> oh, praise the Boomer. You've been safe. Meet our new friend. What a very big friend. <laughs> Please come in. As much of you as you like. Oh. Stinky just told us that you and Snorkman had been caught by a big snake, so we... Where are you going, Stinky? <laughs> she did chase us at first. Then we managed to get on a boat, but they wanted to put us in a cage, so we jumped back in the sea, met the snake again, then they tried to catch her too, so she helped us to get away, and now she's our friend. Well, who are nice they? recap. Men from the zoo. Mm, I certainly don't want to go back to the zoo. I'm sure that the tigers and that nice rhino don't want to go back either. No, of course they don't. They want to be free and living in our jungle. Why don't you go and explore it? I'm sure it'll be just like home. And if you see the zoo people, you can come back here, can't you? I'm sure you'll like it here, Mrs. Snake. Yes, I'm sure I will. Come on, I'll show you the jungle. I'm so relieved that you're both Yet another character that I'm going to miss once so this arc is through. But there's something we haven't told you. Yes, they thought we were hippopotamuses. What? Who did? They need their eyes tested. <laughs> the men from the zoo. They thought we had escaped from another zoo and were trying to catch us, and they nearly succeeded. Hmm, how rude. We're not at all like hippos, the cheek of it. 
I feel like I feel like that's a stab at people that that call Moomins hippos. That's right, Mama. They're idiots. Hippopotamuses don't wear aprons or write memoirs. I bet they never faced the wrath of a Moomin Papa before. I want to see you wrap yourself round and choke somebody. I know. How about the tiger? He'd do. No. We became friends in the zoo. Oh, I know. Choke Stinky. That'll be much better. Yes, mind you, he did let us out of the zoo. <laughs> I mean. Well, you're a great disappointment to me. I let you out because I thought you'd attack the Moomins, but you have tea with them instead. You're pathetic, you know that? I'm sorry, but we were brought up in captivity, and we never had to hunt for our food. All our meals are brought to us, you see. Let's go hunting first. I smell Moomins. Mm. <laughs> Be careful, darling. You're very out of practice. Shall we eat him up? You know that Hemiwen's upset your tummy, dearest. <laughs> Then, then how have you eaten Moomins eat and Hemulans? Well... Post recording, I may be overthinking this, but the only way I can make sense of the tigers acting so excited to eat the Moomins and say that Hemulans upset his stomach, when they also claim they've never eaten something living, is that these two are into some kind of predator-prey role-playing. Does that mean they never intended to eat the Moomins in the first place, or...? Take from it what you will. But I don't think the tigers ever intended to actually harm the Moomins. IMHO. We love cat food. Cat food? <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's easy to chew and it leaves our fur all sleek and shiny. We like the yellow tins with the black cat, don't we, honey? Yes, it's our favorite. You wouldn't happen to have any on you, would you? <laughs> I love them. They're here. The zoo men are here. Ah. Get all the animals into the house first. The zoo men have come to get you. Hurry, you'll be safe in the moment house. Quick as you can, Rhino, into the house. Go on. I wonder if it would be possible for the Moomins to relocate all the animals. I'm trying. Um, I don't think that's a good place to hide, Mrs. Snake. It's full of soot. I'm afraid that doesn't look quite right, Tiger. I thought I might just look like a thick rug. <laughs> I just lie here like a beautiful porcelain ornament. They'll never know we're here, darling. <laughs> well, they'd never expect to find a rhino under there. That's what I thought. <laughs> they can't just have vanished into thin air. Oh, it's just a weather vane. So they're in there, are they? Oh. Now I want you to calm down and be quiet, everyone. We won't let them take you away. I see Miss Tiger you hugging the hugging the. the oh, there again. Tea, please, Mama. Of course, dear. Oh. Hello, having a picnic, are you? A lovely day for it. Not at all. We're all here from the zoo, sir. Oh, are you on some sort of expedition? Excuse me, but are you the owner of this house? Yes, indeed, I am. I'm Moomin Papa. What, what can I do for you? Well, you could send out the animals hiding in your house. That'll do for a start. Animals? Oh, no. We're firm believers that they belong outside. Sir, you can't see from where you are, but I can assure you that there is a python sticking its head out of your chimney. A python? Yes, that's right. No, it isn't. It isn't? No, it's uh, my daughter. She happens <laughs> to look like a python. <laughs> All the time, you understand. <laughs> Come on, man, we'll go and get the zoo. Seriously, property. this this batch no, has, will not enter my house. All right. Has well, been just hilarious. Out, we won't have to. It's up to you, sir. There are no animals and you won't enter my house. Now wait a minute. I do believe yes. You're one of those hippos, aren't you? I am not. I'm Moomin Papa and I am the owner of this house. No, you're not. You're a hippopotamus. How dare you? A hippo who owns a house and is also running an illegal zoo. Break down the doors! Well, that is against the law. Oh, it is, is it? Well, there's a nice cage waiting for you as well, Moomin Papa Hippo. I warn you, if you touch that door, <sighs> you, you, you'll regret it. Throw him in the basement. Yeah. Right, boys, let's go in. Charge! <laughs> Oh please. Just try to just try to go through the basement. Now then, what's going on? Little mice brought the inspector. Alright, what do you men think you're doing? 
I'll have you know that's willful destruction of property, my good man. It's not willful. We're from the zoo. See that python's head sticking out? Now you listen to me, zoo man. <laughs> Either you stop bothering my friends or I'll arrest you. Is that clear? Well, is it? Yes, sir, it is. But what about the zoo animals? You heard the inspector. Now go away. Did you see that? See what? The hippopotamus. What? The hippopotamus. He's the fellow who's been hiding all our zoo animals. We got a nice cage lined up for him as well, Inspector. Oh, so that's your plan, is it? Ha! Huh, they want to take them all? Moomin, Snork Maiden, Mama, and Papa? Hmm, a criminal conspiracy. Conspiracy? <laughs> it would probably... You're, mo you're a Moomin trafficker. <laughs> but you can't kidnap a hippo. That's a Moomin! If you're gone within ten minutes, I won't arrest you. Why don't you put them in the deepest dungeon, Inspector? The one yes. The rats and spiders and scorpions that'll teach them Moomins in cages. I agree with Lilamai. They like animals. Everybody beat it! But we're still discussing it. No, we're not. We're getting out. Look, everyone, the zoo men are running off. Chase them to the precinct. I make that ten minutes up to You saved us, little Mai. It was really clever of you to fetch the inspector. Uh-huh. There were too many of them for me to fight. Okay, everyone, come on down. Aww. As long as the warm weather lasted, there were plenty of things to do, but one day, the weather changed, and cold winds blew down Moomin Valley. The whole jungle withered and died in just one night. I think I've got a cold coming, Mama. I'm sorry, I can't get the house any hotter. I miss the zoo, at least it was warm there. Yes, this cold is awful. It would warm them up if we burnt the dead jungle. Th that's a hazard, though. Are you sure you can contain it all to not burn down Moomin House and the rest of Moomin Valley? This is dangerous. Yay, we're burning alive! <laughs> For how long? Oh, well, that, that confirms the man-eating plants died, too. So... At least the house is safe. If it doesn't burn down. It's cold again. It was warm in our cages. But you're free here. Yes, free to have pneumonia. I'm sorry, but I can't see my husband spanning the winter here. Perhaps they'll let you come back next summer, Mrs. Snake. I like that. When it's warmer. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's good to see you. You don't know how much we've missed you. Oh, good. Ah, the hippos, too. For the last <laughs> time, we're moomins, not hippos. You must be cold as well. We'll warm up a cage for you. It'll be nice and cozy there. No, no, we just came to send the animals off. Hey, get a cage ready for the hippos, will you? Nice Come and warm. on. At the risk of sounding repetitive, we are moomins. Don't be ridiculous. You'll uh, love it here. Oh. Oh, but we're nothing like hippos. We know you're not purebreds, but the public will not be able to tell. <laughs> oh, no. Do we have to stay here forever, Papa? Perhaps the inspector will come looking for us. When he realizes that we've gone as well as the animals, he'll bring the full power of the law to bear on them. Oh, look, there's someone coming. It's Snuffkin. And Hamulon. And little Mai. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to let you out. I'm in charge of this zoo. I'm afraid it was quite an understandable mistake, but please accept this token of apology from the Board of Trustees. Here you are, madam. Mr. Hemulin and I went to the Royal Academy of Science just to sort all this out. We've been given a letter from the president stating that you are not hippos. <laughs> Mr. Hemulin's scientific background helped persuade him. So, you can all come home now. Well, it just goes to show you must never judge by appearances alone. Was that what this whole arc Mama. was about? Yes, Papa. Do you, do you think I should grow a beard? No, Papa. <laughs> He'd look odd with a beard. And so autumn came to Moomin Valley. A new season with different weather and different pleasures. Oh, man. You know, that's another thing. As the series has progressed, it's gone through seasons. Like, it's been pretty consistent. Like, the series started off, like, actually started, like, when it started, it was still winter. But then spring came, 
we went through spring, now we just went... And by this point, we've gone through summer, now we're in autumn. And I'm interested to see what's going to happen during the autumn stuff. But, like, I was thinking that this was going to be, like, that, that this... That this sub-arc was going to be, like... Oh, the uh, zoos are bad. Animals shouldn't be in captivity. That that whole free willy kind of mentality. But it it turned out it didn't really turn out like quite like that. It it again subverting my expectations. Even in like even with like things that I'm that I'm like okay yeah these animals clearly don't want to be in cages. They want they want to be they want to be free. But then by the end of it, it's just like I'd they just so straight up. I'd rather be in a cage, safe, warm, and full, than in some, than out here, free, but hungry, cold, and ge and getting sick. And that's an interesting take on it. I think I think it's a bit. I think, like I do, like it's probably like I don't know how to phrase it well, but it's like it's it's better to have like it's better to be sh it's better to have shelter than. You know, I, I'm not going. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to phrase this well, but you know, I'm sure you guys understand where, where my where my brain is trying to get to because, like, it's just it's one of those things where I'm just like I am not going to be able to phrase this well. But I do really like it. I really hope the animals come back. I really hope they actually, ha like, even even a little even once in a while they just like go to the zoo, say hi to them, just just be and maybe they can come back during the summer. So that was episode 16 through 20 of Adventures from Moon Valley. This set was a lot of fun, but as always, I can't help but just get caught up in this show. I tend to forget I'm supposed to be reacting. It's just that good. And I just can't wait to make the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot on this channel to offer and a lot of cool things coming up. Please leave a comment about your favorite parts of the video. And if you want to see the uncut versions, they go up on my copy page way before the fully edited versions come out on the channel. All of your support goes a long way, no matter how little. You guys have blown my expectations out of the water. Thank you so much to all the coffee supporters and the new subscribers. Because of you guys, we hit our first stretch goal. I will be playing and beating Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy soon. But the 10,000 stretch goal is still a long while away. Will you guys guarantee me having to play the RPG Maker game called Changed for the channel by helping this channel get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2021? This is in your hands.